in a brand TV channel. We will come to you later. We will come to Kakati, buy us some kubuno. Never take a movie con, don't give your bar to be bid. Kuanga bass and ganga, Obusua, Obuyunga, Obuongo, no limi, Buafa. Cutting a bay no kuzu kusa, Gabakusa masanyaraz. Never see me be con doano, never see a muaya, Neita muano, Monsingoano, Neserengeta. Never to come to our no, never take a cow bat way, never deceive our one. Cut charge diligent and take our no, no quarter, no sensing a bat way, a rain dug up away a charging. Wait you long, you cover a caddy, or when you saw him, or we wait you did, and you did with Gua, Ganzerung and Joker. Oh, you get a toy tab, eight of our mature charging. The powerful voice started to wane when you got a disorder. How worried were you when this started happening? Well, it was not sudden. It came slowly. Mm -hmm. And I, I started realizing that I was having a problem. I was traveling to South Africa with the uh, Honorable Amriat, a boy and Asan Kasinje of the Uganda police and all of a sudden in the morning I couldn't speak well but when I inserted a stick in my mouth then I could fairly speak I told my colleagues that I had had a problem so when we came back here I traveled to Dubai and I went to one specialized Iranian hospital in Dubai and the doctors examined me for one month and they told me that I had contracted a disease called dystonia. This disease, they told me, comes as a result of one of the following. One, if you had had an accident, a severe accident, to do result in that disease eventually. Mm -hmm. Two, if you had a family history of the same disease. Mm -hmm. And three, that if you had had poison. And incidentally, my history, I did not have an accident, I did not have a family history of the disease. Mm -hmm. So I tried to ask them to discover that type of poison and they said it is a type of lead poison. And they said they could not manage my situation at that time. They recommended me to a hospital in London, in Queen Square, London, where I went and met two professors who dealt with my condition for three years and after that they said I, I was not improving at that time, I was actually deteriorating mm -hmm. or oh, later they suggested that they should operate on me and uh, after that they wired these electrodes mm -hmm. they wire through the head and the neck and they placed a battery they implanted a battery on the chest wall of my left side of the body. Okay. So this battery is the one which I have to charge in every three days and I speak. Sorry about that. Don't be does sorry. It, do you, is it painful? No, it is not. Like it, mm. it is high tech science. It doesn't affect you. You don't feel it. There's no pain. How did you feel when you were told this is how you would have to live for the rest of your life if uh, you were to go back to those moments? Yes. Well, uh, I had gone through the hardest time. When I stopped talking, that's when I had started losing hope. Okay. And I was sort of getting depressed. But when the doctors finished the operation, they assured me that you cannot speak in the same way as you used to as you used to mm. but you're going to be able to communicate decently mm. and this is what i'm doing right now with you mm -hmm. yes otherwise i had lost hope that i could speak again 
So how have you been able to cope, like, since it happened and now? Mm. How, is your, how has your life been, away from the reports we've had for the last couple of years mm. that you were near death? Yes. For the last two years, I have been fairly all right. Mm -hmm. And right now, I don't feel any threats at all. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I can go on with my work. Mm -hmm. I leave this place at 8 o'clock and go to town and do business mm -hmm. and come back at 6. Mm -hmm. Okay, that's my normal routine, and I have no complaint or something. Don't you ever feel at times that if you hadn't joined politics and probably stayed a businessman, none of this would never have happened? No, I don't believe like that. Mm -hmm. There is a Uganda saying that Yechiri Atavara, Yechiri Anasigadeka, which can usually be translated as a calamity that befalls one who travels is the same that can befall one who stayed at home. Okay. Therefore, I cannot have any regret that I joined the politics. That was my fate, whether I was a politician or not. And when you go around, when I reached the hospital, mm -hmm. I found many non-politicians suffering. TV channel where you Bumne Uganda, we are going to cake Julia and Oli and Goli the cake. Kangula Giride, Abama cakes. Bano, Bevaka full of a goody dating in Sanjizno, Mokola cake, Woma Gwen and Pomu, Atenga Nonje, Vakuana, Bakula cake eating Gumugati, we are going to cake Yambaga, Kuanjula, Bazi de cakes, Baby Shower cakes, Graduation cake, Anniversary cake, or a Jubilee cake. Bakula cake is a Vicabio na, Mofreva is on na, a Visalavia will be so worker. Bakula ne derivale, Bakuida could number sim, or WhatsApp, Zero Musan from San Vomukaga, Chinana Muem. Kumi, atano mumuenda, njindamu Zero musamvu musamvu mukaga Chinana muemu, kumi, atano mumuenda Wawa chari ilo kumutimba gano guwabu kwa Facebook Mark X, bakugamba, it's your cake